I am Dr. Nandita Kaushal, Senior Assistant Professor in the Department of Public Administration, University of Lucknow, Lucknow. Now I am going to present second part of the module. It deals with public policy and policy sciences. First coming to the objectives, after going through this chapter, you will be able to understand public policy and policy sciences, objectives of public policy. Now first starting with the introduction. Public policies are as old as state and government. Whatever is the type of state and form of government, public policies are needed by all to deliver public goods and services and thus to give practical shape to its intentions. But the concept of public policy as an academic pursuit is of recent origin. It emerged in the latter half of the 20th century and since then it has been acquiring new dimensions. In the beginning, the studies of public policies were dominated by researchers and students of political science. Policy sciences prior to the revolution propounded by the behavioralist, the study of political science was largely dominated by the traditionalist who borrowed a lot from the historical method of analysis or descriptive method consequently the pre-Second World War political scientists did not concern themselves with the scientific study of events. However, there has undoubtedly been an increased interest over the past 20 years in the analysis of policy as a focus as opposed to specific disciplinary or professional focuses. This increased interest has been accompanied both by grandiose claims for how policy science can improve the decision making capacity and the outputs of government and imitative retailing as public policy of traditional courses in government or public administration. A study of the origins of this interest can help us to understand the current status of policy science and policy analysis. In brief, past studies on public policy have been mainly dominated by scholars of political science and public administration and have tended to concentrate more on the content of policy, the process of its formulation and its implementation. The study of public policy has evolved into what is virtually a new branch of the social sciences, the so-called policy sciences. This concept of policy sciences was first formulated by Harold Laswell in 1951. Today, the policy sciences have gone far beyond new and native aspirations for societal relevant knowledge. Now coming to the working definition of policy sciences. The conception of the policy sciences is more refined as extended today than at any time in the colorful history of man. As a working definition, we can say that policy sciences are concerned with knowledge of the decision processes of the public and civic order. Knowledge of the decision process implies systematic empirical studies of how policies are made and put into effect. When knowledge is systematic, it goes beyond the aphoristic remarks that are strewn through the wisdom literature of the past. The systematic requirement calls for a body of explicitly interconnected propositions such as we have inherited in the Western world from Aristotle, Machiavelli and their successors. The emphasis on decision process underlines the difference between policy sciences and other forms of intellectual activity. By focusing on the making and execution of policy, one identifies a relatively unique frame of deference with related disciplines. However, these public order decisions do not exhaust the field of policy. In complex societies, the agencies of official decision do not account for many of the most important choices that affect lives of men. In the interest of realism, therefore it is essential to give full attention to the study of semi-official and non-official processes. The dividing line between public and civic order is more a zone than a line and in totalitarian states, the civic order is almost entirely swallowed up by public order. 
The separation is most visible in bodies politic where the activities assigned to the formal agencies of government are relatively few and where the collective activities of businesses, churches and other active participants in society are independent of detailed direction from government. Now coming to the characteristics of policy sciences, the practical application of all relevant knowledge in the social, physical and natural sciences to specific policy problems are identified well ahead of time. The rationalist model involves a commitment to scientific planning. This means an overhaul of the traditional approaches to making of decisions. However, the specter of Duncan McRae is warded off by the suggestion that a policy analysis culture be created in order to achieve greater rationality in policy making. This policy analysis culture has three main features as found in pioneering writings of Yeskel Dor. First is technical experts who are sensitive to the ethical implications of decisions. Second is close cooperation between researchers in government. Third is an informed citizenry to fend off the anti-democratic specter of a ruling class. Now coming to the nature and scope and utility of policy sciences. The policy science movement grew out of a quest for a science of policy. Its key proponents among others were Yehiskel Dror and Harold Laswell. According to Dror, policy science is a new supra-discipline oriented towards the improvement of policy making and characterized by a series of paradigms different in important respects from contemporary normal sciences. Policy science was conceived as a supra-discipline which will integrate several disciplines such as political science, public administration, economics, psychology, sociology and tools of operational research and build multidisciplinary knowledge, skills and techniques to resolve social problems. It is aimed at improving the knowledge, methods and analysis in policy making. Analysis of Harold Laswell. Knowledge of the decision process implies systematic empirical studies of how policies are made and put into effect. When knowledge is systematic, it goes beyond the aphoristic remarks that are streamed through the wisdom of literature of the past. The systematic requirements call for a body of explicit interconnected propositions. Policy science attempts to apply the scientific systematic knowledge and methods such as observation, verification, validation, explanation and prediction to policy studies. Its goal is better policy making. However, policy sciences also accept other sources and forms of knowledge in so long as they contribute to better policy making. In so doing, attention is therefore directed more comprehensively to qualitative and normative methods and to non-economic rationality such as political feasibility. Policy science is regarded as higher transition from policy analysis. It believes in the enhancement of methods, techniques and systematism. However, the line delineating policy analysis from policy sciences is blurred. Most advocates of policy sciences are policy analysts. The shift of emphasis is to policy sciences is nothing but to create identity as a discipline for solving social problems. The empirical aspects of policy sciences have also been stressed by Laswell and that is to insist on the empirical criterion is to specify that general assertions are subject to the discipline of careful observation. This is a fundamental distinction between science and non-science. He declared that the policy sciences were not to be equated with applied social science or applied social and psychological science. Not he cautioned are the policy sciences 
to be thought of as identical with what is studied by the political scientists. Like other social sciences, a policy science is also not an exact science because substantive science is concerned with the pursuit of truth which it seeks to understand and predict. It is merely an approach which is concerned with improved methods of knowledge and systems for better policy making. A technique which helps the decision maker to take decisions with improved methods of knowledge. It is thus concerned with more effective manipulation of the real world, leaving open the possibility of not understanding the phenomena. Carol Wies describes policy sciences as a decision driven model of research use. The, the sequential model has the following stages. First, definition of the social problems. Second, identification of missing knowledge. Third, acquisition of relevant data using social research techniques. Fourth, interpretation of a problem solution. And fifth, policy choice. Policy sciences may contribute to the selection of policy options. Like conceptualization, it has two aspects. One, it contributes to the way in which policy making is done and two, its policy options may percolate into society influencing the way that a society thinks about issues. The facets of the issues that are viewed as susceptible to alteration and the alternative measures that it considers. In sum, policy sciences can have enduring influence on the political agenda through sensitizing both policy makers and the mass of people. Nagel also argues that policy analysis provides new insights and enables policy makers to make better informed choices and by implication a better policy. Also, Stecky and Zeke Hauser declare that no sensible policy choice can be made without careful analysis of the advantages and disadvantages of each course of action. Coming to the evolution of policy sciences, the policy sciences approach and its advocates deliberately distinguished themselves from early scholars in among others political science, public administration, communications, psychology, jurisprudence and sociology by posing three defining characteristics that in combination transcended the individual contributions from those more traditional areas of study. The policy sciences were consciously framed as being problem oriented, quite explicitly addressing public policy issues and posing recommendations for their relief, while openly rejecting the study of a phenomenon for its own sake. The societal or political question, so what, has always been pivotal in the policy sciences approach. Likewise, policy problems are seen to occur in a specific context, a context that must be carefully considered in terms of the analysis, methodology and subsequent recommendations. Thus, necessarily, the policy approach has not developed an overarching theoretic foundation. The policy sciences are distinctively multidisciplinary in their intellectual and practical approaches. This is because almost every social or political problem has multiple components closely linked to the various academic disciplines without falling clearly into any one discipline's exclusive domain. Therefore, to gain a complete appreciation of the phenomenon, many relevant orientations must be utilized and integrated. The policy sciences approach is deliberately normative or value oriented. In many cases, the recurring theme of the policy sciences deals with the democratic ethos and human dignity. This value orientation was largely in reaction to behavioralism, that is objectivism in the social sciences and in recognition that neither social problem nor methodological approach is value free. As such, to understand a problem, 
one must acknowledge its value components. Barry Radin and Peter D. Leon have described the institutional and political evolutions of the policy sciences. Although they are not on obvious ob opposition to one another, their respective chronologies offer contrasting emphasis. Redden 2000 argued that policy analysis approach knowingly drew upon the heritage of American public administration scholarship. For instance, she suggested that Policy analysis represents a continuation of the early 20th century, progressive movement in particular in terms of its scientific analysis of social issues and the democratic polity. Her narrative particularly focused on the institutional and supporting educational growth of the policy analysis approach. Radin suggested a fundamentally linear albeit gradual progression from a limited analytical approach practiced by a relatively few practitioners to a growing number of government institutions, think tanks and universities. Development of policy sciences during 1970s and 1980s through 1970s and 1980s, the direction of the policy sciences was influenced by policy scientists who struggled to expand the scope of policy sciences and by the social and political events of the period. Struggle for expanding the scope, the community of policy scientists formed by the late 1960s recognized both the limitations of and the opportunities for their knowledge and skills. In their pursuit of policy sciences studies, they addressed topics of evaluations, utilization, implementation, and termination in a more or less orderly manner, though lacking any strategic coordination. In the early 1970s, the policy analysis community focused on policy evaluation. The obvious purpose of policy analysis was to learn from public programs such as reducing poverty and infant mortality rate initiated in the 1960s and to take steps for improvement. New methodologies often from social and clinical psychology were brought to bear while others were modified to match special needs. Evaluation of policy researches helped to improve public policy making. However, most of the policy evaluators working within academic circles failed to appreciate the policy sensitivities of working with public officials or make sure that their findings match the needs of the clients. Increasingly, the credibility of policy sciences has been questioned for its failure to produce empirical and normative truths. Scientific rationality, which was once its base, is being replaced by a broader theory of reason in society. Although policy research still continues to produce the most systematic and critical analysis of complex social problems, yet it is also true that policy science represents only one of the several rational ideologies competing for social and political advantage in the 1990s and the first few years of the 21st century, the policy sciences revisited old themes in an effort to reconcile long existing conflicts. The policy sciences appear to be moving from a simple theory of rational choice to a theory of reason in society from policy science to political inquiry. Now coming to the key factors and considerations in public policy development. A number of factors and considerations must be kept in mind at the time of development. These factors will be used by others to judge whether the policy and the process of developing the policy is or has been sound. First, public interest. What is the interest of society as a whole? How is the common good balanced against any private or special interest? Is the process fully inclusive, especially of those who are often overlooked or unable to participate. Second is effectiveness. How well a policy achieves its goal? Third is consistency.
degree of alignment with broader goals and strategies of government with constitution, legislature and regulatory regime. Fourth is fairness and equity, degree to which the policy increases equity of all members and sectors of society. This may link directly to consideration of public interest. Fifth, reflective of other values of society and or the community such as freedom, security, diversity, community, choice and privacy. When we summarize the contemporary expansion of the policy sciences in the long perspective of the past, we see a change that is deeply embedded in the expansion and differentiation of urban civilization in world history. Policy science can be defined as concerned with knowledge of and in the decision process. The trend towards policy sciences viewpoint, contextual, problem oriented, multi-method is a move away from fragmentation. Too often a differentiated approach is permitted to generate into a fragmented Worms's eye view of the policy matters. What is policy science discuss its nature and scope, write an essay on evolution of policy science First, Ashford Dog, edited 1992, History and Context in Comparative Public Policy, Ithaca, New York, University of Pittsburgh Press. Second is Brewer, Gary D. and Peter D. Leon, 1983, The Foundations of Policy Analysis, Homewood II, The Dorsey Press. Third is Dahl, Robert and Charles Lindblom, 1976, Politics, Economics and Welfare, New York, Harper. Fourth is Jones, CO, 1970, An Introduction to the Study of Public Policy, Belmont, Prentice Hall. Fifth is Laswell Herald, 1971, A Purview of Policy Sciences, New York, Elsevier. Sixth is Lerner D. and H. D. Laswell Edited, 1951, The Policy Sciences, Stanford, Stanford University Press. 